On this episode of Nerd Talking the Podcast, the guys get back to the gym. How's that going? Is it working out? Are they working out or are they flaking out? Also, telemarketers, how do you deal with them? When you see them in front of a store trying to collect money from you, do you give it to them? And Blue Beetle by DC. We review it. We'll let you know how it is. And Laura's Rent Returns. Oh, it's a good one. All that and more on this episode of Nerds Talking the Podcast. Now start the show. Nerds Talking the Podcast. Yo! We talk about lightsabers, stunning your TV screens, what you want to stream, everything beyond your dreams. Want to talk about movies, sports, or even politics? Go ahead and tune into us, we'll give you all of it. Whatever you debate, next box of PlayStation, Marvel the DC, Mac or PC. Terra flops when the movie drops, gigabytes, chips, RAM, no matter what it is, we got all of it. Welcome to the show. Nerds Talking, the podcast. Welcome to Nerds Talking the Podcast. I'm here with Carlos, Johnny, Laura, and I'm Lafayette. Thanks for tuning in. New episode. You people are fantastic. From all over the place. I check our listeners, people from Germany, England. Carlos, where else are they listening from? Australia, Mexico. of course. Australia. Mexico. Okay. Malaysia. Uh, Malaysia. Pakistan. Canada. Canada. Oh, that's great. I love it. You people are fantastic. All right. Carlos has been going to the gym lately. He's like, back at the gym. The gym's his life. Carlos, what's your update on your gym life? Well, I've been going consistently because that's how you got to stay in shape, lose weight, whatever you want to do. Got to be consistent. So for the last two weeks, every other day, I've been going to the gym. Like clockwork, every other day. I don't do the three times a week, four times a week. It's every other day. When when do you go? Do you go before work, before lunch, work. after work, before work? What time do you wake up? 5.30. Wait, so how long are you going for? An hour? An hour. Okay. Mm. Okay. And um But I did for you. Hard But props. one one day I did miss our mornings. I thought, you know what, I'm gonna go this evening with Johnny. Johnny said he'd go with me this evening. He didn't show up. So I like, well shit, now I gotta make up for it. So I went the next day in the morning and I thought, well, okay, Johnny's gonna go this evening. But no, he flicked on me again. So I went again in the evening. So I did two that day because I missed a day. And Putting you're welcome. The time. <laughs> yeah, and, and, two a days are known to to bulk you up. But you know what I like though? Johnny's motivating you. If you don't know that, he's actually motivating. Yeah, he's skipping well, he's out at home, eating and drinking at the gym. Yeah, it's perfect, yeah. perfect motivation. I like. But it. he knows you're there, so he feels good about that. Oh, so he's living vicariously through me. Not really. He's more like he calls you. Want me at the gym? Sure. Hangs up, knowing Ducker. he's not going. But he's making yeah, you go. I ain't going nowhere. Yeah, he's making <laughs> you go so he knows you're going to get a good workout. See, Johnny, good job. Good job there. No, I'm 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 getting back on the wagon this week. After we're done with this show, I'm going to the gym. I'm tired. Okay. Tired of uh Excuses? looking and feeling this way. Like uh Laura Laura's new thing was to send us pictures and uh then you could shame her into eating right or whatever. That's something I actually did with, uh, I wouldn't say he was a trainer. I was doing herbal life. And the dude who got me into it, he's like, I want you to send me a picture of your food. Every time you eat, just take a picture of your food. And then, you know, just want to make sure you're His on the phone right must track. must have been blowing up. No, it was like, um, it, it was a way to keep me accountable. And, uh, you know, I take a picture of something. All right, try incorporating some vegetables in there. Try doing this. And I mean, he was very. Uh, I like, you know, you said I'm like ice cream. All right, just, you know, maybe some broccoli in there. <laughs> no, no. I, I, th- there was one day where I just sent him a picture of a pizza. I was like, I just had to do it. He's like, okay, well, a combo you know, pizza. Should get back on it. Get back on track tomorrow. You know, so, you know, I mean, I you guess know, you know, I, think that's, but... I think that would be a really good. You know, for a way. fact, you can tell you're trainer... a dick pic. You trade. <laughs> this is the, yeah, this is trainer. what I ate today. <laughs> <laughs> you know your trainer had copy and paste answers for you. Yeah, try again tomorrow. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> you don't know that. So right. That's it true. Feels though, like you don't personal know attention. And then when your yeah, trainer is like Johnny, I said that. eat four times a day. This is the ninth picture today. <laughs> that's why I said <laughs> his phone is blowing up. Yeah, won't he's stop. Like, he's like, <laughs> I don't know, bro. <laughs> Like, just yeah. did a photo drop and just sent 50 <laughs> shots. <laughs> I couldn't stop, coach. <laughs> Took a picture of the buffet. And there. So so it, it didn't work. It did. 
Oh, like, okay. No, that guy quit. Dot Herbalife. dot dot for a while. It's just like anything, right? Oh, that's right. Herbalife. No, that dude was quit. About, that's right. <laughs> I that can't do this shit Kiki, no more. Yeah, after meeting <laughs> Johnny, just not quit. listening to me. Oh, that's right. Herbalife. <laughs> Herbalife is like a. Uh, it's like a, a pyramid scheme thing, multi level right? marketing, multi level marketing, aka pyramid scheme. That's right, yeah. MLMs. That's and you, uh, I, 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 I couldn't, I couldn't recruit anybody. I, Did you I, owe them I, money? I, I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't bring myself to recruit people. It was just like, mm, I just, all right, I, I thought someone who could benefit was my brother. He's significantly heavier than me i thought that if someone like him did like a crazy transformation then people would say what are you doing how do i do it and they would you know but he did he didn't keep it up so you should have done it before and after take a picture of him take a picture of yourself not even that you should take a picture of your brother <laughs> And then another picture of your brother going, look, if you don't do herbal life, look what the fuck happens. <laughs> <laughs> like, Cautionary tale. Yeah, just use it to your advantage. Like, oh. Are man. they still sponsors of LA Galaxy? I don't think so. No. They used to be on the front of their jersey. They used to be on the front of their jersey. Quite a few seasons. Yeah, yeah. I know Ronaldo yeah. was uh, being sponsored by them. Oh, like, he, he, really? he had that documentary. And then uh, in his documentary, he was like, Taking an herbal life shake, I was like, "Come on, dog, you don't, you don't care. <laughs> You're not on this weight lo- loss." Shakes, I know, man. right? That dude does not need them whatsoever. Well, you're back at the gym. Both, both. Well, one of you, one's coming soon. There you go. One's yeah, coming soon. Laura, Jim, who's Jim? Yeah, exactly. Who's Jim? <laughs> <laughs> I have no, an elliptical go- and a oh, weight okay. set in my basement, and uh, yeah, yeah. I bought that. Elliptical around Christmas 2021. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think I've been on it maybe seven times. That might even be an overestimation. Huh. You know what, I think I, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna say you probably do it on the anniversary day you bought it. You just use it that day. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. You don't use it any other day. I I need to. I mean, it's it's on my mental to do list, which of course doesn't mean much, but I I do. I need to start moving. Like I'm, my body is fucking freaky and crotchety and sore and stiff, and it's just not going. I just I need to I need to prioritize that aspect of my life i am a firm believer because my first instinct i say is like i don't have time and then i correct myself because i'm a firm believer in you ha- you make time you have time for what you make time for i have time to sit on the couch and watch two and a half three episodes of whatever i'm watching true true so i have the free time i just prioritize that zone out time when i should learn to carve out certain bits you know yeah yeah. And that's the whole every uh, every daily consistency, right? Yes. Routine. That's, routine that's, that's routine is routine, the key. Yeah. That yeah. is yeah. what I need because I'm a really, really good at routine, which is to say I'm really bad at breaking routine. <sighs> if I can I'm, get into a good mm-hmm, one, mm-hmm. who dilly, we're good to go. There you but go. getting there you into go. it is the hard thing. I think I've been five out of the last eight days and, uh, good for you trying too. Trying to get a Look routine. You guys. But I you went guys back gotta to get buff as fuck. I don't do I don't do Carlos does weights. I go play basketball for like three hours at a time. That's working out. No, that's no, that's what I mean. That's, that's, that's... that's the best workout I could do because you sweat like crazy. And you constantly move. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't, I don't want to be on a machine for an hour. It's just so boring. At my age, though, I... playing basketball for three hours by hour three, you're basically just a dead body on the floor. You're trying, you're, though. You're not contributing my knees at would all hurt. to your game, to the team. I'm, uh, basically, what I'm doing at hour three is I'm not shooting anymore. I'm just screening and running up and down, trying to play, trying to play defense. The key word is trying because I'm basically done with. And they don't know my age. They think I'm like younger than I am. So they're like, oh, keep up, man. What's going on? And I'm like, good Lord, this is too much. You guys are like 20 years old and you're dying over here. <laughs> yeah. I played recently. My left leg felt like I was going to fall off. I was like, I think I need to stop. But nope, played like another hour because I ain't no quitter. I ain't no quitter. So, uh, yeah, the gym is fun. I think you have to make it enjoyable too, though. That's the thing. You got to want to make it enjoyable. If you feel like it's not, like you go in there, like, oh, I don't want to be here, then that's what sucks. Right, Johnny? My, my, one of my problems is my compromise to myself, right? Like, let's say I'm running. I'm like, all right, I'm going to run to that 
lampposts and back. And then it's like, well, there's a lamppost here. Well, technically, like, I'm same. fine with Constant Disneyland. bargaining with myself. Constant. Or I like, do I'll, the same. I do I'll the go same to the thing. gym and I'll be like, oh, yeah. oh man, I don't have my ear pods today. I got to go back. Oh, that's the worst. I'm not going to lie. That is the worst when you don't have music or something. Yeah, but you're I, listening I, to yeah. like, like teenagers con- stupid ass conversations or like or the music in the gym you don't want to hear yeah just yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so but, anyways i just, yeah. as long as you prepare a little bit and um yeah so anyways i'm going to the gym tonight let's wrap up this podcast what are we talking yeah, about you lazy shit lazy uh, shit <laughs> all right well there you go um yeah let's uh switch gears i want to ask you guys this how um how do you deal with um you guys get tuck- telemarketer calls, or how do you be- people in front of like Target trying to get money out of you? How do you like avoid that? Hang up on telemarketers. Okay, okay. And I don't make eye contact with anybody that's trying to give me money. Get me to give them or the money. SPCA how or the Natural Fund. How many of you have kids that need money for uniforms for their sports team hanging out at Target? Ah, the good old my basketball oh my team. God. Yeah, we're, good. <laughs> we're going AAU. on a tournament. We need money to go on yeah. a tournament. Or I have a football. Kid. I'm like, I saw this one kid, and he had like a a crinkled piece of paper, and it was just written in pencil. He needed money for his football gear. I'm like, fool, you ain't playing no football. Look at your droopy ass eyes. One of them's even kind of cloudy. What position are you playing? Right tackle? Because you only have a good left eye. So get away from me. It was horrible. I hate how everybody needs uniforms. Everybody needs money. Man, what team are you playing for? Show me a coat. Show me something, but they got nothing. It is true. Like they'll tell. Like I get the old. um, Hey man, you want to buy a a, a candy for my for my AAU? So I can. I'm like, uh, man, I just walked out of Target. I could have bought candy there. I didn't buy it there. But But it's a five dollar candy, right? Oh, Mm -hmm. it's five dollars for a pack of M and M's. Yeah. 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 Like whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had a movie theater. You gonna show me a movie? We're outside. There ain't no movies here. Oh, how about how about the actual like people raising money for homeless or veterans or what do you do then? Do you speak with them at all? Do you avoid it? Do you just walk right by or oh sorry man, got time, I gotta go. Like what's uh what's your journey? How about you as a veteran? Huh? huh? Well, how the, do you avoid the, it? the last couple of years it's been a lot of recall this. Get rid of Newsom, oh, yeah, or yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, get rid of this, and can you sign here? And I'm like, well, I, I don't live in this county. I'm sorry, I, I live in the rich neighborhood, or something like that. That's what I usually say. I, I sign all those. Well, I, I, I usually say like I, I don't live in this county, so my vote or my signature is not going to count for you. But the veteran stuff, I mean, no, uh, no. I guess I guess it depends on what they're offering. Sometimes the vets have like some cool hats. I'm like, all right, I'll give you ten bucks for this. Hat. But how about the SPCA that wants twenty bucks a month? Oh, I lie to them. Uh, <laughs> oh, do you now? Oh yeah, yeah. I was like, uh, it's either going to be I'll get you on the way out, or um, I gave you ten bucks yesterday. Like Carlos, uh, w- <laughs> when we went to our uh, Tahoe trip, you gave. I was about some, to mention that. Yeah, you, you gave some group ten bucks, right? Ten bucks. But here's a, I did. I gave him ten bucks, and they said you can Venmo me. I'm like, hmm, can I? So when I went to the Venmo, it said uh, certified charity. So mm-hmm. Venmo will actually make sure it's a real charity before you send the money. So I did. I gave him 10 bucks. I don't know what it was for. It was for kids. It was something kids about... Kids or parks or something like that? Yeah, something like that, yeah. I mean, and then... I, uh, my kid yeah, so we we had to wait a long damn time for our oh, table. It was... Pro- they said 45 minutes. It was probably close to two hours. So we're, Jesus. You know, I, I was going back and forth to the bathroom, and I lied. Uh, they, hey, you want to? Can I talk to you about the parks? I just gave, gave you guys ten bucks yesterday, so I was, I was playing you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. thanks, man. Yeah. I appreciate it, man. It really helps. Mm. I'm like, yeah, anything I can do. So I, <laughs> yeah, I just lie. I can do that. I can lie to you. <laughs> yeah, I, and the reason I bring it up is there's a show on HBO called Telemarketers. You guys need to watch. It's phenomenal. And it's, it's about not how, like a documentary, right? It's, it's like a documentary. Actor, okay. Yeah. No, it's oh, a it legit is. documentary. And it's <laughs> about how charities only get 10% of everything raised. The companies actually raising the money keep majority of it. And you guys ever get the call where people tell you, hey, this is so and so. We're calling on behalf of the local firefighters or the local police. Mm, right, right. Yep. So none of that's real, right? None of there's no, there's that's for police. Like uh, the local like lodge, does that make sense? It's it's for like the local they hang they're they're raising money for the local hangout. 
you know, so right. the police can beer hang money out. for the More local cops. No, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you literally Seriously. are. Yeah, you're. That's what. That's what they're because like money for. Uh, the firefighters, the cops, they all have unions. They all have. Like, yes. They raise money. They contribute money to their own like yep. funds and yep. whatnot. Yep. So, yeah. So if they if it's a they're asking for money for firefighters or whatever, then uh, yeah, it's going to be for their their beer money. It literally is for their beer money, yeah. And remember, they only get 10% of it. So but they you... shouldn't be asking you, because when they make that call, and you, your answer should be, yeah, they took it out of my paycheck last time, and they'll take it out again next time, and next time, and next time, because it's coming out of my taxes. And then you hang up on them. Well, no, I mean, that be smart. You're one of those That's... people? Yeah. I'm paying your salary. That's right. <laughs> oh. I literally just hang up. I got on that the police ro- Rolodex, and I get the same guy. He me calls too. me every you know time. I think you and get I'm just, the same last robo time call I, just hung I get. I think you get the same no, robo call. No, it's because, not a robo call. They it's call a real guy. Under my name still? This no, no, they still me? call under Carlos's name to me, but here's the thing. It's the same guy, but once you go, um, yeah, it could, it changes over to another person that picks up the call. It's not that, like, it, it, it goes robo for, like, the first two, three minutes, and then another guy comes on. Hey, this is Ted. I heard you're interested in uh, giving money to the uh, local uh, police. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh. I'm going to uh. test it. And they're like, oh, yeah, well, th- this is for the fallen uh, uh, cops in New Jersey or something. They'll, they'll mix shit up. And you're like, oh, oh shit. I feel bad for them. Uh, yeah, here's 10 bucks. Go pick them up. But yeah. So this so... telemarketer documentary, it goes into all that? Oh, yeah. It's so good. I recommend it watching dis- it. Uh, discuss the people that like sit outside the... Um... The grocery stores and whatnot. Like, no, this is strictly about the people that raise money for police and firefighters mm. and how it's all bullshit. And it's just uh, they keep 90 percent of it. And the local police, like, again, uh, local, whatever you want to call it, lodge, police, you know, group will get 10 percent of it only. And uh, and then how they'll tell anybody anything to get money out of them. And I mean, anything and of course, they go after the elderly. Number one, that's their number one is going after the elderly. And uh, but it is like when you watch it and you receive those calls, you're like you pieces of shit. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because at first, when I was getting those calls, I thought it was legit. This is like ten years ago. They always call for Carlos. Is Carlos there? And I'm like, no. Hey, this is the so and so from blah blah blah. They throw some whatever bullshit firefight. I'll be like, oh okay. Remember, I gave him like twenty bucks one time. And they wouldn't stop asking for money. And I'm like, ah, shit, these guys again. Anyway, so remember, it's bullshit. Watch it. It's on HBO Max it's called Telemarketers. It is phenomenal. Is it based in the U.S. or is it telemarketers from overseas? Oh, no. This is based in uh, Jersey. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, Jersey. Uh, the company started in Jersey. The one that tries to steal all your money for cops and firefighters, it started in Jersey. Yeah, you got to watch it. It's Avoid those calls. Avoid people in front of Target. That money ain't really going to where it's saying it's going. And I feel bad because I give money to, I used to give money to like uh, the Nature Conservatory. And then when I found out that most of that money doesn't go to them, I'm like, oh, they, they don't get like, how much money do cancer research get? I don't want, what the hell? Like, he has to be getting some money because like, I don't want to go in, like, I don't want to be thinking that like, oh, no matter who I give to, nobody gets this. And so people are all preying on you. Like there has to be some that are legitimate. It's not that it's not it legitimate. It's you're hiring a third party to raise you money, right? So maybe they I'll to... ask next time. Like, are you a third party? Or are you directly? Yeah. Associated? Are you with actual like SPCA? Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. by law, they only have uh, to give ten percent to that well, charity now, that they've hired. Now it makes me hmm. question. You know, on your birthday through Facebook, you can have people donate to charities. How much of that money is Facebook keeping, and how much is actually going to the charity? You did that. I yeah, you, you stole my year. money. That Facebook, yeah. you did it. You stole my money. Yeah, I do it every year for. I gave you five society. bucks. Yeah, I give you. And five you bucks. ain't raised shit. Yeah, your goal was like two hundred, and it's at five <laughs> fifty. Like somebody, like <laughs> no, it's at three dollars. I took some out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it just makes me think about like again the cancer research. Like we raised two billion dollars this year f- to fight cancer, and I'm like, oh, that's so. You raised two hundred million, and then who got that, and where'd that go, and who that gets spread out to, and who actually got all that money, and so on and so forth. BLM, where's that money at, huh? Oh, it's used to buy houses. That yeah. is true. We know about that. Yeah, it is used to buy houses and cars, and and again, watch where you donate your money. Give it directly to who actually needs it. So, 
Next time you see a veteran on the street, right, Johnny? Give it to him. Legit veteran. I'm going to need some paperwork, though. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Verify. You're the worst. We'll take a break here on Nurse Talking the Podcast. We'll be right back after this. You know what, brother? Do you like to work out? Why don't you come join me on my podcast, Buff Guys Workout to the Extreme. No sissies allowed. Get ready. Get pumped. You don't know what's coming. It's all here. You're never going to know what hits your podcast. That's right. Muscle on top of muscle, brother. There's no need to go to the gym. We bring it to you. To your ears, to your veins, to your blood. Get it pumping until you're ready to go. You want to impress the ladies? Well, I'll show you how. With tip steroids so you can get big muscles. Don't worry about small balls and dicks. You got muscles, and that's what ladies want. And you want to get the ladies to listen to my podcast. It's called Buff Guys Workout to the Extreme. No sisters allowed. Get ready. Ready, get pumped. You don't know what's coming. It's all here. You're never going to know what hits you. Podcast, brother. Nurse talking is not responsible for the buff guys workout. Too extreme. No sister loud. Get ready, get pumped. You don't know what's coming. It's all here. You're never going to know what hits you. Podcast, if you take steroids, you can get small balls and dicks. Thanks for listening. I'm back to the show. Welcome back to Nurse Talking the Podcast. Remember to rate, subscribe, review, download, turn on notifications, tell your friends every Tuesdays, Fridays, Nurse Talking the Podcast. I'm here with Johnny, Carlos, Laura, and I'm Lafayette. We all went to see, or no, we didn't all go to see, the latest DC movie, Blue Beetle, starring the guy from Cobra Kai. I don't know his name. Maybe Carlos does. But Blue Start Beetle's the, the latest. Next. Yeah, that's sort of the I think it's like Zolo or Z- Z- Zoltar? I think it's Zoltar. Zoltar? Yeah, you put a quarter Zoltar. in and you like make a wish. And, and then, then you, you turn into a little boy. Then you turn into a little, no, you turn into a big, uh, an adult. Oh, wait, wait. You turn into an adult mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. you trick a lady into sleeping uh, with a little that's, boy. That's right. That's right. That's, <laughs> that's right. the latest, like, uh, I don't know, TikTok or whatever reel where it's like, this is so wrong because, like. Oh, no. not Come on. Really? No, I saw it. I didn't believe oh, it. I mean, I was, I've what? seen it and it is creepy if you rewatch it. Uh, like, oh, but at the shit. time, it was like one of the best <laughs> movies ever. But, you know, it's just like one of those retroactive, uh, you know, woke cancel culture, right? cancel yeah. culture. Like this was wrong when it happened. Why don't we all notice it? Then? Cancel culture. It's I think putting you on an adult lens and watching it and you're like, oh, shit, that 30 year old woman just had sex with a 13 year old boy. No, I mean, his, no. his arm hurts from all the high fives he's getting. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, but I mean. You know, he, oh he no, like, but he, yeah, it's he looked like wrong. a thirty-year-old man. <laughs> I don't know, she didn't know that, you know. Oh, well. Anyway, so Blue Beetle out in theaters now. It's the latest from DC Films, uh, DC Comics, Warner Brothers. It is the latest a superhero movie, and uh, it's about a uh, kid just graduated from Gotham University. He comes back home to his uh, hometown, which takes place in Texas, and he kind of his part of town is basically like where all the Mexicans live and the other side of town is all the rich folk live. So he gets his hands on a blue scarab that gives him superpowers and becomes a blue beetle. And from there he has to protect his family because the people that want the scarab back are attacking him and his family. What he, what will he do to protect them? Carlos blue beetle. What was your take and what's your review? Blue beetle was enjoyable. I wasn't expecting it at first. I went for the same reason I had mentioned before, to see if it sucked, if it feels good, because DC has a shitty track record. But it was pretty good. Uh, the costume was great. The CGI was great. The story was all right. It wasn't a phenomenal superhero story, but they're all pretty much the same. But, um, yeah, I liked it a lot. Uh, the effects were cool. Uh, I'm not going to give too much away, because you should go see it. It's a good movie. I would give it a well, I give it a three and a half out of five. All right, there you go, Blue Beetle. Uh, George Lopez, very funny in it. Surprisingly, <laughs> he's really excellent in the movie. Um, and very heavy on like uh, Mexican. I wouldn't say so much culture. Would you say culture, or would you say this family you... tradition? Yeah, I guess family tradition, and and it, it's yeah, it's good. It's good they kind of tie that into the movie. You know the Mexican side of it. It's not it doesn't make the movie bland at all. You 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 know you're attached to the characters. All the whole family, every character, you know you you feel for. And it's it's a good movie. It's a lot of fun. Like Carlos said, the effects are amazing. Originally meant for HBO Max only as a streaming movie, and then uh, Warner Brothers threw fifty million dollars at it and said, "Bolster that shit up. We're putting it in theaters." And 
it was originally part of the other universe that everybody seems to love, the Zack Snyder universe, and they did slight modifications to it. And uh, there's no mentions of, you know, any heroes tying into that universe. It's supposed to go into the new James Gunn world. So we'll see how that plays out. But uh, effects are amazing. Story's a lot of fun. The, the freaking costumes are amazing. Like they're really cool looking. Uh, yeah, I give it a I give it a three and a half as well. You know, it's it's it is really good. It's better than the Flash. At least definitely I definitely better, better than, than the Flash. Flash. Yeah, yeah. Even though I I enjoyed the Flash to some extent, it's better than the Flash. It's better than Shazam too. And those are the, I think those were the latest ones. Was there something else? No, nope, that's those it. Are low bars. Black Adam, Adam, Aquaman man. too. Oh, Black, Black Adam, Black better than Black year, Adam. Though. Yes, there's two more. There Aquaman is, two comes out. The Marvels Aquaman two are left on the docket. So I'm looking forward to the Marvels, not so much Aquaman 2. I know I'm looking forward to Aquaman 2. From what I've seen, it looks rather crazy like the first one. Very, very over the top fantasy. So there you go. Three and a half. Blue Beetle here on Nerds Talking. Check it out. It actually streams on September 19th. September 19th already. And for you Barbie fans, streams uh, September 5th, I think it is. Very soon. Oh, right after Labor Day. Yeah, you can catch Barbie September 5th digital if you haven't seen it, even though it has made a shitload of money. I think it's surpassed. It's one of the top grossing movies of all time, believe it or not. It surpassed it's, Mario Brothers. It did recently. surpass Mario Brothers recently. Correct. And I think it's already in like top three or f- four of all time movies. Ah, I'm not buying that. Has you mean not buying it? I haven't been out long enough. Mm-mm. Oh, it, that movie is killing on a, it. On a budget of 128 to 145. They're yeah. at one point two billion. It's crazy. What the shit? That's it is, crazy. It is absolutely <laughs> crazy how much that movie's killing it. Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, it's insane. a. Sec- it says it's the second highest grossing film in twenty three. What was the first? Mario, Mario Bros. Mario Bros. Oh. Killed it. Absolutely killed it. And and yeah, that movie was good. So yeah. So, uh, but Barbie is. It's crazy how good that movie's doing. Again, if you've seen it, not for children. So women are seeing it over and over. I don't. I don't know. So, you know, so Barbie, September 5th, you can stream it. You can watch it at home. Enjoy it. Judge for yourself. As we move on to what everyone's been waiting for. It's been a couple of weeks. We haven't had one in a while. Mm. And it's coming our way right now. Laura, what is your rant for the show as we have Laura's rant? Definitely going to be more than 90 seconds. You take and it away. I want I want to hear uh, the the male perspective of this. So my husband, God bless his soul. He, uh, he's still alive. But uh, he, Ooh, all right. there it is. <laughs> we all wanted to know. He, uh, he Where should agreed. I bury the body? Yeah. <laughs> he has agreed to get a vasectomy. Uh, Because we're done having children. He is getting it done on Friday. And the level of apprehension and (laughs) 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 took me a second to make the connection. (laughs) Uh, The level of apprehension and like the amount that he's talking about it and bitching about it. It hasn't even happened yet. And I'm just like, oh, my God, you are going to be insufferable for the next week. And I'm sitting here and I'm like thinking to myself, I'm like, am I a cold person that I'm like not feeling for you in this moment? And then I was like, no, I am not a cold person because my sympathy for my husband is limited. Though thankful I am that he's getting this vasectomy because I'm like, do you have any idea how much as a woman you spend with your junk? not feeling a hundo percent like i'm going through i'm like okay every month i have a period hello cramps ever all the utis i've had in my life because women get way more utis i have carried two children for nine months and then pushed them out of said vagina and then i had an iud uh and dealt with that in the insertion and then the pain of having that for several months not to mention the years and years of birth control and the things that it does and yet, somehow, this one surgery is some Herculean effort on his part. And I'm just like, welcome to the party, pal. You know? 
I I don't know if you want our opinion to be honest. It's almost with you, Laura. like I do. Still, I don't know like, if you do because like, I like, do. It's kind of like uh, we don't we don't feel that bad for you. That's <laughs> like. I don't know. I, I mean, know. I mean, no, there, I know there's a don't. part of it, right? There's a part of it that's like uh, maybe he's going to feel emasculated or whatever. I mean, which I don't yep. understand, but I explain that to me. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can't have kids anymore, right? You, yes. You're... But then I guess, I, I, you know what? The, I, my question is was this a joint decision? Was it his decision? Does he there feel like, a... does he feel like it was necessary? Is his pullout game weak? What is it we're talking <laughs> here? Which which one is? No, it? no. When your if your pullout game is weak, then you cut your balls off for sure. <laughs> I but mean, you, has he? We no. all know, right? Has he? We never, all know what's going to happen. That game. Has I he am. Ever, I am said. Yeah. Uh huh. This baby factory is shut Close. down. It's done. It's we over done. with. Joe Biden's recession it fucked it up. And it is and done with. And uh, we're we're not having any more children. And I said, you know, it's your I, I believe in your body, your choice. So, I mean, I would like you to get a vasectomy because it's a lot easier surgery for you. For women, you have to slice through your abdominal wall, which is a six to eight week recovery period. Um, so I told him, I'm like, if you genuinely don't want to get it done. I will respect that decision and I will get it done, but we are not having any more kids baby factory is closed he said let me think about it let me think about it and then he said okay fine i'll do it how long was the thinking about period a couple hours two minutes because when you said when you said six months okay because when you said um if you don't get it done i'll get it done you think you took it as a threat like oh she's gonna cut my balls off while i sleep (laughs) (laughs) no no i said i'll go get the surgery done it's six months uh i like how you're like you go into the hospital together and you're like he's like are you sure you want to do it and when you get there, you push him in the room. Ha, ah, I got you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, I no, mean, like, what, I was genuinely it the discussion? Know. Like, uh, did you just uh, say, all right, uh, get it done or I'll get it done. The ball's in your court. Or or did you take in the, the or ball's ask him what court. it no, that's balls it. That's in it. your court? Uh, <laughs> or did you ask him, like, why he's hesitant about it? Like, why? Because it's going to be different for everybody. Like, some it's going to be. Yeah not feeling like you're as much of a man anymore. Some people are scared of needles, surgery, whatever it may be. So it was multi multi pronged. I think it was the fact that like he does, he, he wanted a boy and I'm like, I'm sorry, we're not having another kid. We're not having a boy. We have two girls. You didn't think that you were going to have any kids. Congratulations. Thanks to me. We have two girls. You have two children. That is it. And then the second part is the feeling emasculated. And I've been asking him, like, put this into words for me. I I don't I don't grasp it. I don't understand. I think everything is intact. It's all the same. I know. I think it's it's, just I think it's also a incomplete feeling as well. Or it could be a feeling of. um, I mean, there's no there's no fireworks at the end of the show. You know, there are. Oh, there is. They just they're just empty. Yeah, they're just they're blanks. Yeah, they're just they're blanks. They're like little you ghosts. Don't just like they're like little ghosts now. <laughs> That's not what happens. Is the cleanup yeah. easier? I don't yeah, understand. Is, what it, yeah, no, it's just it's just. Is it not like a sticky minus... powdered milk? Right? Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is it like it you looks like a magic show every time? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> just my, all the juice, no seeds. The red as I no, it is. It is. It's all the juice and no. Seeds. You're right. This it, it yeah. is. It's. <laughs> It's like uh, not you know, <laughs> it's not sugar free jizz. It's like <laughs> <laughs> uh, zero jizz. sugar. That's a craze nowadays. So yeah, it is. <laughs> well, I mean, you 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 have friends, uh, female friends that can't have kids. Like, how do they feel because they can't bring life into the world or whatever? Some of them like they take it pretty hard. They do, but it's because they've never been able to, as opposed to. You know, this, not being able uh, this to do it anymore. That I'm choosing, yeah. I guess this, this, is he is he second guessing it, is, or is he is has he brought it up or? No, he's, oh, okay. he okay. seems he's, to be like, okay no, we're getting it. it done, and we're getting it done. But it's just yeah, the it, level yeah. of complaining and and like apprehension and weirdness about it. And I'm just like, yeah, I just don't, I don't I feel mean, bad for you. Like you I'm, I, I made him a cute little care package because I saw it online because I thought it was cute. You made like, him a care package. 
For yeah. balls? Balls. <laughs> balls? You know, like for the weekend for the recovery. So it's like Cheez Its, but then you like put something over it says Cheese Snips. And then, like, wow, like, rubbing it in. No, like Sour Patch Kids, <laughs> like No Mo Sour Patch Kids. Like, you put stuff on it. it oh, cute. wow. And then there was the naughty one that I did. It was the, the oatmeal cream pies. And I said, seedless oatmeal cream pies. <laughs> I I'll be honest with you. I don't know if the care package helped. Uh, I <laughs> feel like it or helps. Yeah, it should be called "I Don't Care Package." Yeah. God damn you! <laughs> <laughs> I think it's different for every person. I had a buddy of mine have it done recently for the same reason. He had two daughters, and they both agreed we ain't having no more kids. I don't give a shit. You were both gonna be, or are both on the same page. That's it, done. And when I asked him, he's like, no, I'm good with it. It's fine. Like, like, good. I'm happy. Like, I don't want any more kids. That's he goes. Yeah, I wish. I, same thing. I wish I had a boy. But who gives a shit? I'm done. Yeah, I think what it comes down to is like if it were like up to Austin, like giving a fairy tale world, I'd have like a million children. And I'm just like, that is not who you married. And you knew that. <laughs> so it's not yeah. like it's something that like I pulled on him. You know, it was uh, that was the agreement coming in when we got married. I said, I don't want to have children. There is a possibility I could change my mind. But if I don't, are you okay with that? You know, and he said, yes. So we got married. And Did you say it in bed? Two because kids. I've agreed to a lot of shit in bed. No. I've, no, given, a, I've are... given away my email <laughs> password in bed. <laughs> you stupid idiot. There uh. are, there was many, <laughs> many conversations to this effect. A friend of mine well, just had it's... his reversed. And he had another kid. He had it reversed. First, I... uh, how many kids did he have? He has two kids. Two... Oh, he have no, he has three family. kids. Two, well, his previous wife, and then his new wife wanted kids. Oh, uh, well, different. that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. That's a little bit new different, wife. though. Yeah, the new wife. Well, I can that. tell you how to get him to do this vasectomy. Just use Johnny's dating technique. Does this rag smell like chloroform? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I thought you were about that whole down for love. He is a, his appointment is Friday. I'm taking him like we're all on board. It's just like I'm saying, it's just the the level of complaints that I'm just like, I don't feel sorry for you. It's you know, it, it's just is it is it like do you feel like he's at the guilt trip thing? You know what I mean? Is it shopping for sympathy? Yeah, is he shopping for sympathy? A does he does he want? Do you feel like he's trying to? Get you to go. You know what? We don't have to do it anymore. No, no. Okay, I so think he. That. I think he. I think he wants me to like throw him a parade. You know, like oh, you've sacrificed so much. You've done such a great job, and I'm just like, no. Yeah, yeah. Make him another care it's, package instead but... of yeah, instead of the I don't care package. Maybe like you know, show him a little sympathy. Package, I don't. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's to a strip club. Yeah, is there a gift, gift, gift card? Gift card? <laughs> <laughs> is there? Yeah, is there a gift card? No, yeah, Johnny called, would know. If they're called one dollar bills. On. Just fucking. <laughs> that, that's your gift card. Could you imagine though, if the strippers had a belt that had like a little thing you tap a card on? How much you want to put this time? Two dollars. You, you <laughs> only tap? got. Can I tap? Put your watch on it. Tap. <laughs> you only got three dollars left. Uh, or you know how like they used to have the thing, or they maybe still do around the um, you know, around the rim where you drop the dollars in. Mm -hmm. You um, drop the dollar. Yeah, there's, there's some of those where you like put the whoever are dancing. You drop the dollar and they collect it at the end, or whatever. And it's the same thing. It's just a tap little. It's like a Dave and Buster's little thing where you just tap the card as she's dancing. She gets credits as you keep going. Could be. Yeah, I just if, call if throwing strip... dollars on stage. Yeah. Yeah, I go to more like sophisticated strip clubs. Ones where, <laughs> where we can't even get close to the stage. They kind of just the oh, pervy that's sophisticated? ones. Sophisticated. Yeah. That's, uh, yeah, it's, yeah. Well, it's me and a lot of downies. So I've, um, I've always wanted to get one of those guns that shoot the guns. Oh, shoots, shoots, the bills. Shoots, shoots bills. Oh, you want to walk? Make it like rain. Like a t-shirt Make launcher. It. Yeah. Now, first of all, now we're getting ideas Wet for the care package. Launcher. She'd be double fisted. He'd be like. Brr. Yeah, if you got him that, that would show him you care. Is he a big football fan or like sports fan? No sports. Huh. Oh, then he deserves to get him cut off. Yeah, <laughs> he was off. never a man to begin <laughs> with. Wait, so what's his thing? What's his hobby? Uh, computers and video games. Oh, he's a gamer. Okay, 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 okay. I would say get him a video game for his new care package. Um, get him Minecraft so he can build some balls. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I don't think it's um. A fair way to say my body went through this you shouldn't be complaining like i 
Like if someone says, oh, I had a long day at work, you know, because I did this. I'm like, well, you don't know what hard days is. You never served in the military. Like I I don't do that to people. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I don't think okay, you, should, that's fair. you should compare your your body trauma to his I, trauma. Also, what I'll, if I'll be honest with you. Yeah. He's, he might be being a little bit of a bitch, but <laughs> at the same time, women are notorious for not giving the correct reactions. When I when I cook dinner for the wife and I smoke a brisket for 14 hours mm -hmm. and I hear hmm, that was good. It it doesn't match the effort that I put in. That you put in. I'm the same way. Like that after you I finish, put in. She should be outside yeah. thanking the smoker. Yeah. For doing That's this for true. 14 hours. That's wow. it. Were you because there for 14 hours babysitting this brisket? Were you sitting by its side reading a book to the smoker? Maybe feeding it some candy? I don't know. What do you do to this thing? What yeah, do you do what do for you, 14 hours? Because think about it. Say, you okay, well, but for, I, 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 let's back to the main point. I what, hear what you're saying, Johnny, is that what, appreciation what? is important in relationships. And I try to appreciate my husband. You know, there are lots of things that he, he does. He try. No, I, I mean, I make an effort. There we I go. Mean. I make an effort. So, you know, we're doing all this stuff with the house. Like, there's a lot of bullshit mm -hmm, going mm -hmm. on. And so he's had to do a ton of coordination. And I take... I have time to and I make a point to tell him, I appreciate you doing this. I know it's a big pain in the ass. I appreciate you taking care of these things, you know, and we try to appreciate one another, but it's just on this thing. I'm just like, just seems like such an unfair thing. Like I've had to worry about this for the last, how old am I? I don't know, 30 fucking years, more than that. Wait, 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 wait. No. I was going to say this. More than what? <laughs> wait a minute. Like, wait, 25. What? The best was 25 Canadian years. Conversion. You know, I've had to. Canadian <laughs> conversion. <laughs> I've, had, <laughs> I've had to worry about my body and like what it was going to do and, you know, not getting pregnant. And it's just now something that he has to deal with. Once. What if what if the day of he's like, nope, change my mind. I'm not doing it. I don't see that what happening. I think I'm no, no. This is just a scenario. It's just a scenario. No. That's all. The look on Laura's hey, face. I know. Uh, just now. Just oh, now. It was like man. their relationship would take a hit. That if, look, if he changed his mind. Would, that look was would. literally like I'm throwing hot water on his junk when he goes to sleep. I'm going to do it myself. I'm not a crazy person. Uh, okay, but just I would. But, it would definitely be a source of tension. <laughs> indeed. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's not getting any. Hmm. No, after he'll that, be fine no. after the surgery. As soon as he gets right back on that saddle, he'll be like, "All right, this is nothing. I'm good." Oh no, if, and that's the thing. If he too, literally like, had to get back on a saddle, he'd fucking yeah. Die. He would be after that. He needs at least two weeks away from the saddle. <laughs> if he was a cowboy, he'd be miserable. That's the one thing my buddy told me that did do it because he loved playing golf, and he's like, "I couldn't play golf for like three weeks because I couldn't like move around that well. You know, I couldn't like shift my body around." And I was like, "He was like, it's so painful," and I was like. How about now? Nah, it's nothing now. Now it's like just whatever. Like, okay. Again, he agreed to it. So I, okay. All right. Clearly, you guys something. are on his side. But I'm sitting here and he's thinking he's like, he says, Oh, this weekend I'm, you know, after this is done, I'm not doing anything. You know, I'm not doing with the kids, like nothing. Like you've got this all sense. weekend and I'm yeah. sitting there and I'm like, you know, and on paper, I'm like, okay, fine. You just search. You know what happened after I had a kid? Nobody mm. sat me in a weekend and said, Oh, you need time to recoup. Whoa! No, they had to be Whoa. a baby. Yeah, you tell them, sister. Give them this guilt trip too. <laughs> give them this shit right. Give it to them real thick. Are these good points? I mean, I'm legitimately. Yeah, no, I hear you. It's just you know what? How old what is I... Austin? Yeah, how old is Austin? That's another thing. What's his age? Forty-three. Oh, yeah, he should cradle throw robber. Towel for Look sure. This yeah, guy, the cradle robber. He should throw oh, you. Towel 39. Now. He's four oh, years older than me. Oh, wow. What a, wow. You what think a I'm girl. younger than I am. What a Whoa. pedophile. Wow. When he Jesus. was a freshman in college, you were a freshman in high school. This guy is filth. <laughs> I'm your using the whole big Your thing, numbers you know? are, are off, Zoltar. Your numbers yeah. are off. My numbers aren't off. <laughs> yeah, it's four years. Yeah. yeah, he was a freshman in college. He was a freshman it's, in high school. Yeah, that's exactly right. It works. Well, he, works he, yeah, no, it what are you, stupid? If he was three years older, he'd be a senior in high school. A three it's years. It just it depends on the, it, it was. It was, I was a freshman. He falls, would have been okay. a senior. Yeah. Oh, so your husband's a little bit stupid. It's fine. We're not going to go get. Oh, no, it's when your birthday falls, no, I'm just you dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no, it's, it's, I think it's just one of those things where. It has to be, you know, if he if he's agrees upon it, it's kind of like, 
you know, I guess a good question would be like Carlos and Johnny. They have one kid each. If their wife said, hey, no more, done, we're done, but you have to snip, snip. Look, would- man, let me be honest with you. This is some guys thinking that who they're with now is not forever. Okay, well, can we know Carlos' answer? Divorce. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's. <laughs> <laughs> but that's how guys think. This is not gonna be forever. I might want to have kids later. I might, you know. That's. I think that's the mentality. I mean, Johnny, <laughs> would you get your ball snipped if your wife said, "Cut them"? Yeah, but uh, but yes on the board. <laughs> when you said that, it made me question like our family get-togethers. Like if you're in Tahoe, <laughs> just like staring out and. Like you weren't enjoying nature, you were checking out p- potential future wives. I'm not right? saying me, asshole. Right? Well, <laughs> in general, the, the I got cut they, off well, by a half like, naked child just now. What, I had to pause. <laughs> what you said, said another was, one? What you said was, "I'll be honest with you." Some guys <laughs> named Carlos <laughs> realize that no. they're not with their forever wife. Look at my That's age. That's not my husband. No, my at husband. My age, if God. my wife said, then yeah. Because at my age, oh, he's back. The one that the <laughs> another one, half naked, the, the half another, naked child, the jumped same the half naked child, the half naked child is more or less saying, You don't need another one. I'm the best you have. <laughs> I feel like Carlos almost gave his kid a vasectomy right now. He almost <laughs> beat his ass. <laughs> Oh, I would he's, say he's getting um, ready for bed. You know what? I don't. I, yeah, I mean, it's it's an interesting topic, that's for sure. It's a good rant. You you brought your A game today. Yeah, um, game. but then like it it, it branched off because now like I'm I'm a little sensitive about my 14 hour brisket and how Carlos doesn't appreciate the <laughs> dinners. That it I wasn't him. Them. It was your wife. You said your wife gave you the. This yeah, motherfucker okay. wants me to next to the grill, like reading poetry. Listen, we've all the... been there. We have all been there. Okay. I we've mean, all read poetry to look, a brisket. Yeah. Yeah. And, and we've all been there like oh, 14 minutes of excitement. Then you go to the kitchen, make a sandwich. Like I fucking nailed it. She's like, that ah, was okay. Like what the fuck? Like, you know what? Vasectomy, bitch, if that's what you're going to tell me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, what I, I was like... trying to say was, <laughs> at my age, uh-huh. yeah, if she said, get one, I'd get one. You know why? At my age, I don't want to be changing diapers for the next three or four years. I don't want to have baby seat in the back of my car for another five years. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't want that. I don't need that. Mm-hmm. That's another, that's for me, that's my thing. Like, yep. Yeah. Hmm. I'm not gonna lie. This subject has got me riled up, and I'm not sure exactly why. And I feel like your brisket. I feel like I'm gonna get into a fight with the wife after this. Like, what do I do when it comes to brisket, or when it comes to children? Both. The 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 my thing is, and I'm gonna uh, say that he's probably feeling this too. Is being underappreciated and uh, the lack of sympathy. I think that that's the main thing. And I don't know your husband, so I'm I'm just guessing. But for me, it would be the the lack of sympathy, like just not appreciating what I, like recently I, I dislocated my toe. So I was out of commission for about a week and a half. You know, like, let's say we go grocery shopping and I'm like a simple thing like that, just carrying the groceries in from the house. But I'm limping my ass off. Yeah, she, mm-hmm. she's like, are you done? And yeah, is there any bitch? more bags? <laughs> yeah. Hey bitch, I, you done? <laughs> I went to the fucking hospital, right, to get an x-ray. Oh. And uh the x-ray tech, I like said, why do you have a vagina on your foot? Yeah. Basically, you that's what she said. <laughs> you, <little bitch. laughs> you showed up with your toe. She's like, You here for your transition, you little bitch? <laughs> OBGYN's on the third floor, you <laughs> asshole. <laughs> what are you for? Your vasectomy, you puss? <laughs> oh, I gotta carry groceries in. Oh, no. So I was <laughs> limping, limping to the x ray. And then when I got in there, I, was like, I can't put a lot of pressure. She's like, Well, you walked in here. I'm like, Bitch, <laughs> boom. You don't get paid for your bedside manner. You x ray text her assholes. You know what I like about that, though, too? <laughs> she looked at you and just thought, Oh, all that weight on that toe. I mean, this is fucking gotta be fucking. That's useless. how it got dislocated. <laughs> That's just by just walking. Like getting out of bed, just standing up. <laughs> That's messed up. We're talking about Laura's vasectomy issue, and you're talking about how fat you are. All right. Well, I I obviously came to the wrong place for sympathy. <laughs> for, for sympathy. <laughs> 
don't come here for sympathy. That's for damn sure. <laughs> no, no. Look it up in the dictionaries between I mean, shit and syphilis. I once fell out of a shower and slammed my head on the counter. The guy got up and was crying for sympathy. No, I walked it off. You weren't. I was, I was bleeding off. I was you bleeding like someone shot Whatever. Me in the face. No, you weren't. I can tell you. I just, no. Uh, it like, was horrible. <laughs> no, I wasn't crying. I was holding my chin and it was like someone shot me in the face and I went to CVS and bought a bandage. <laughs> well, did you have a woman in the house at the time, though? Yeah. Yeah. She came you in did? and said, What happened? And I said, Leave me alone. I've been through some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not buying this recap. Johnny, how did events. you dislocate your toe? Yeah. I'm kicking a homeless person. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It's it's probably closer to what you guys were saying, just being fat. Because I woke up and I <laughs> I just couldn't walk. Oh, and that sucks. I, I, like, you dislocated in it in your sleep. Who the fuck? I, I, maybe I had a dream I was kicking a homeless person. I'm not sure. I just woke up and oh, that's the shit didn't work. Uh, did you kick your wife because she was snoring? Um <laughs> No, no, no. I, I have an extra. I have a, a snore proof room. No, no. I, I, when I uh, talked to the doc on the phone, he was like, Yeah, it's probably something like gout. Yeah. All right. So, like, I go in, do the x rays, they're negative, And then I do a blood test. And he's like, Well, your white blood cells are high. So maybe you're fighting an infection. I don't know. Come back in a couple of weeks. I'm like, Why? Well, I, I still can't walk. Like, maybe recommend anything. That's when he said, OBGYN, third floor. Get away so not, everyone, so, wait a second. So this everyone wasn't, between wasn't this you and like certified doctors are calling me a little bitch. Is basically but it wasn't dislocated. What you said then it's just some type of like pain. No, and I know, you? I know what happened. It got dislocated, and by the time the X-ray came in, it, it relocated. relocated. It relocated. <laughs> <laughs> so, Laura, there's your answer. Johnny's a bitch. I don't know how you feel about that, but um, I, I must have put it back by myself, like Mel Gibson. Oh yeah, what he with his shoulder. shoulder ah, yeah, that's probably yeah. what happened. I just Over- don't remember being a man. That's a little overused in the movie. But... You don't remember being a man. I know. You yeah. don't remember being a man. That's Manning crazy. up and like relocating my toe back. Like to you where... kicked the homeless person to make it go back location. <laughs> so, so I think Johnny's right. I think. He's looking for a little sympathy and a little like a pat on the back, like, "Oh, you're so brave." Give for, him a week, a yeah. one one week of faking the funk. Get him a yeah. cape. Uh, cape superhero for what he's doing. Yeah, give him a no. Seriously, yeah. give him a week off of like a nothing. cape for his he can balls. Relax. <laughs> yeah, almost treat him like you, you know, like, "Oh, here's your dinner." Oh, here, you know, like, "Oh, are you feeling better?" Oh, like you know, and then after a week, man up, bitch, just like that, just. But no, that's what he wants. I think he wants a little like he does. He wants a little pat on the back, and he wants a little he like. Oh, oh Are you God. willing to do that? Doesn't look like it. Give no, Laura's lead. hell no. no. Laura's... We'll see. I talk a big game. It's true. But he's I mean, a nice man, I mean, yes. and <laughs> then he gets me. The best line ever. He's a <laughs> nice man. You forced that out. Yeah, yeah, you you didn't say that very nice. So I, <laughs> I didn't. I love my husband. I do truly. I do. So I love him a lot. Uh, he would, best... he would li- he's not listening to this, so I can say whatever I want. Oh, but this but is the truly, best, I love my husband. He's the best nice rant guy. you have brought so far. I am telling you, A You're plus. Welcome. Way yes. better than BarkBox. Uh, BarkBox was good, though. <laughs> I still it feel was very good. passionately about that BarkBox <laughs> shit. <laughs> that was good. But this one, this one is the, like A plus. A uh, fucking plus. Oh, well, I mean, like I said, that's it. That's all. I mean, he gets it done. Just be all like, oh, poor little boy. You be okay. That's all. Kids make it better. Yeah, don't do okay. that. I, I, <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't recommend one one kissing it and making it better. No, never <laughs> too soon. But then I wouldn't I, recommend I overdoing it. Dick so many times, nobody ever wants to make it better. <laughs> it's never worked once. Never worked once. We'll just try it again. Okay, <laughs> right now. Yeah. Just keep, just keep trying it. It's gonna happen, man. Dreams come true. <laughs> yeah, don't this is America. A self vasectomy. <laughs> uh, oh man, that's uh, yeah, yeah. Can someone explain though about how the vasectomy is done? They Can snip I... the vas difference. They make an incision uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, towards the top of the scrotum. Go mm-hmm. in there, mm-hmm. just cauterize, cauterize, oh, stitch it up. Gotcha. Okay. And then you have to come back in however many weeks and jizz in a cup, but to make sure that your sperm free, yeah, that mm-hmm. it the 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 severance happened 
to the vast difference and also to make sure that there's nothing left in the chamber. Like it's got to flesh itself out. Yes, I mean, you wouldn't have to tell me he's going to wait three weeks. You can bring it in. Yeah, you can bring it in. Yeah. Oh, well, then I would definitely like get some like horse semen and then just see what happens when the tests come back. They're like, all right, so uh, Jesus a couple Christ, problems. you're birthing stallions. <laughs> one, <laughs> yeah, one, uh, the the surgery didn't take, and two, you have <laughs> horse semen in your body. Yeah, that's, just, that's what they say. That's it. <laughs> Awkward. Awkward. This uh, sit down, sir. We need to talk. <laughs> we need to redo it. <laughs> what? No, no, no. This needs to go in my new article. It's going in the medical journal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think you know. Um, yeah, interesting. Yeah, so uh, there you go. I'll update you all next week on the oh, level no, fantastic. of bitchdom yeah. going out of my house. Hey, oh, <laughs> hey, oh. It's off to a good start. It is. The, the so far, sympathy. so good. Like I said, I talk, I talk a big game. I talk a yeah. big game. Buy him a donut. He could sit on. Get him ready. Peas. Get him prepped. He needs peas. I got him some frozen peas, yeah. The frozen peas. Is it weird? And the care package. I'll send you guys pictures of the care package. Is it weird to eat the peas afterwards? Yeah. How does that work? Too. And I'm like, I think, I mean, they're going to be like, they're going to thaw fast. Yeah, but they're going to thaw fast. Yeah. Mm. All those little tiny balls getting mushy. Exactly. I mean, like, what? Metaphor. It's only going to cost like three bucks, right? Just throw away the peas. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Hmm. And that's where I'm falling. I mean, you as can well. use something else, like an actual ice pack. No, it has to be like it has to have like the little balls, oh, like so it, has it to can form. Yeah, form. But they exactly. have those ice form. packs. That have, I have that. They I have do have form yeah. ice packs. Yeah. yeah, I think I think they'll probably give them something yeah. there, right? I mean, you pay enough money, they should give you a ice oh, pack for ice packs. balls. They'll give them ice packs. Yeah, <laughs> you it's know, an what? outpatient I procedure, should... isn't it? Like snipping out, giddy ass. It is. It's an outpatient thing. Yeah. No, I should probably get it done. Well, get an ice pack or peas? Both. Okay. I mean, if you're but done, you're done. If you're yeah, done, I mean, if you're we're, done, you're done. We're done. And then also, uh, you know, I'm on the high deductible plan, so we already hit our limit. So oh, everything God, is free. Yeah. So oh, I, cash that that's what, shit in. Yeah. I like how you're thinking oh, go right a, now. Go get a, yeah. Dude, little get tummy tuck. T- yeah, yeah. Get uh, the gastric thing. Covered. Yeah. Get, I'm covered. getting titties, bitches. Do it all, bro. Do it all. Uh, come back, damn! You look different. Uh, gastric titties, snipped it, <laughs> I can cut it. Everything. I think. I think my biggest problem. Flip it I, and reverse it. No, uh, yeah. flip it. <laughs> rub it down. Oh no! I would. Uh, my, my biggest problem with that, with getting work done on my titties, is I have small nipples. Like I know you can like add a nipple or move your nipples. That's just weird to me. I don't know. Wait, do you yeah, want to tattooed areolas? Get bigger areolas. Should I? Wait, you've thought yeah. of this? Yeah. I'm very confused. Yeah, exactly. I think we're done. No, no. I I've, mm. I thought of this because the, the wife got boobies yes. done, right? Mm-hmm. But she didn't have any like nipples moved or anything like that. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I've, I've heard of that. And yeah, they can yeah. move them. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. the thing. Or they can, I've they seen can, it done on uh, YouTube. I just they can make it bigger, make it smaller. They no, no, like, no. They just they move, move them just to like awkward places. Yeah. No, they move them like up. Your shoulder. Yeah, it's weird. Here. They move them too high sometimes. I tell you. Yeah, yeah. Pull I want another middle. nipple. Pull you just want another, another one. I want a functioning nipple. Nothing your nipples don't do anything. They're pointless. yeah. Men nipples don't. We get news for you. Female nipples do do something. <laughs> yeah, they not do. yours anymore. Not. After Friday. Uh boom. no, they could. Yeah, a they woman could, who is that lactated is can continue relactating in any time. Ah, Supply and demand. That's you know super what? weird. It you know is what? weird. Trade off. Offer him that. Get milk? <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't worry about it, titty boy. All right. That's for sure, everyone. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to Nurse Dog in the Podcast. <laughs> for Carlos. Bye bye. For Johnny. Uh, I, f- I feel like Carlos is going to leave that last part in. <laughs> oh, yeah, he is. <laughs> Tits up. Shit. <laughs> or Laura. Goodbye. Hey, I'm Lafayette. Thanks for tuning in, Nerds Talking to Podcast. We appreciate it. Catch you next time. You can email the show at nerdstalking at yahoo.com.